It also had to be sealed, sellado, stamped, stamped, by an official perito. If you ask me how that, what's the name of that in English? I wouldn't know. Maybe it's a notary, actually. Perito traductor. Ugh. So many official papers. It took like forever, and it took like a lot of, probably money too, but I did that in, in Germany, I guess. She helped me. So I got my papers, and then someone called me and said, hey, there is a job. Yeah, I don't need a job right now. Yeah, but there's a job. You can do it. You're waiting for your university. I said, yeah, well, why not? And by the way, she said, that might help you with your studies. What? So I meant, just have a look. Yeah, but I didn't really want it to. I have a look, come on, go. That was a Friday, so I went, okay. That was it, cement. No, I had had a job twice before. I worked a few months in one office, and then I worked also in the Harold Hess office. So that was my third job. Yeah, I went on a Friday, and that passed me through this amazing examination, all to check out if that what I said in my curriculum is all true. So, yeah, all true, <laughs> of course, very because. What? I'm Laneta, <laughs> of course. <laughs> and interview with the boss, Kunit. Okay. And they told me, yeah, call, we call you on Monday. So, okay. And I kind of was a little bit slightly annoyed with this all the while. So I, I drove, I went all the way. I didn't drove. I think, I, I don't know what happened. So I went back home. And as I entered the door, the phone rang. And they said, we expect you to start working on Monday. So I went. I think that was my birthday then. So I went to have a look. Yeah, and that took me like two years. The situation is that I did not want it to stay the time. I just waited my time, my entrance for the university. Yeah, that they helped me with the studies, my ass. But then the Mexican went all idiota on me long story so I left the family and now I needed the job and I couldn't start studying that took two years and then I went off and intended again and now I went back to Laon Nam and they said yeah well but for you to study here at Laon Nam you also must present one semester of history of Mexico political organization and geography I think that's what it was three subjects so, okay so I did that an entire semester I did not know that's the thing I talked to the dummy I do have to mention the dummy again the Peruvian he said what I, I, I'm already studying here no one in the class was no one in that class was like me in a situation where I haven't even begun studying at London yet I hadn't even been accepted yet they're all they're already studying and then they presented these these credits. I didn't know that. I just trusted in the office and that's what they told me. So I did it, I finished it. No, it's good, it's good that I know it. It was very hard because oh, let's continue. And now I finished it, now I presented my, my paper, I went to the office, so okay, I'm gonna go and scrap myself now. And they said no. What? The thing is this, in Germany you have to have a numerous clauses. That is, you have, a, you have to have a minimum grade qualification to enter university. I think it varies depending on what you're going to study. But I was an excellent student. Yeah, what did I have to say? Valle what? I didn't even know the name in Germany. Valle de... Valle what? Valle what? <laughs> I, was, I just wanted to finish my high school. I never thought about grades. Oh, best student? How about that? Huh? <laughs> never mind. Okay, good for me. <laughs> but then in Mexico, it didn't give a shit. Le vale madre, man. How great I am. Now I also have to present an exam. What? I had no clue. No one had told me. See, I came from Germany. I thought officers will tell you. So I was completely depleted because the exam that told me is like gonna be like in what? In two days? In three days. I was completely out of my mind. So I took my papers and 
Cabbie's buckled, really, with my head down. I walked back. I'm 